Are you looking to stimulate a massive amount of strength and size in your upper arms? Your biceps are lagging a little bit and you want to hammer a little bit more of your triceps as far as your strength is concerned? If that's what you're looking for, stay tuned to the rest of this video. What's up everybody, I'm Dane from Garage Strength and I want to share a very unique principle that we love to utilize here at Garage Strength that enables us to get a massive amount of work done in a very short period of time, which leads to a ton of mass gains and strength gains in the upper arms and that principle is the principle of cluster sets. So if you can think about cluster sets and what we utilize as far as how we salvage a sleep deprived training session, it's a little bit differently from, we're gonna use cluster sets a little bit differently with our arms than the way that we use them for in regards to an exercise like squats. Okay, so what is a cluster set? First of all, let's think about it as a big set and inside that big set you are going to do multiple small sets okay so one big set would be four sets of four right so you're going to do a set of four rest 20 to 30 seconds a set of four rest 20 to 30 seconds and you'll repeat that four times and then you'll rest interset for about four to five minutes so the way we lay that out in buys and tries and we go deep into this in buys and tries one and buys and tries two is we would pick an exercise like the preacher curl or the close grip bench. So in the preacher curl and in the close grip bench, these are both mid flexion or mid extension movements. They're, they're the strongest position in the biceps. It's the strongest position in the triceps. And it's something that can lead to very, very serious strength gains as well as mass gains because we're getting a whole bunch of work done in a short period of time. So if we took the preacher curl, Okay, so pretend that your, your max curl is 200 pounds. And that's a pretty good freaking preacher curl, okay? Uh, your preacher curl is 200 pounds. We're gonna take about 70% of that preacher curl, which is gonna be 140 pounds. And now we're gonna hit four sets of this. So we're gonna do five sets of four. So we're gonna go four reps, rest 20 to 30 seconds, four reps, rest 20 to 30 seconds. And we're gonna do that five times. Okay, and that's gonna count as one set. Okay, so one of these sets is going to be uh, 20 reps. And then we are going to repeat that again. We're gonna do a, this set two with the exact same amount of weight, 140 pounds. So we're at 70% of our max, and we're gonna do that again. So over the time frame of four big sets, we're gonna be each big set, you will get 20 reps in. Okay, so that's gonna be leading to a, a serious amount of mechanical load. And as we know, mechanical load leads to a whole bunch of stress, which leads to mass gains, right? So if we can think about that now, because we're doing mechanical loading at such a high volume, we're also going to stimulate a bit of strength gains as well. It won't be as serious as it would be with squats because when we did our squats cluster sets, we were at a little bit higher intensity and a little bit lower uh, rep, rep period. We're only doing doubles. And in this case, we're doing sets of four in interset, right? So as we work through these four sets, okay, these four big sets, while you're focusing on your training, the most important aspect behind executing a cluster set for arms is that we've got to be focused on our rest. We've got to be focused on during those 20 to 30 seconds, we have to be focused on recovery. We can't be blabbing, we can't be on Instagram, we can't be on Snapchat taking pictures of our swollen biceps. We've got to be focused on everything that we're, we're trying to focus entirely on our rest period. Then the next thing that we must focus on is our actual rep execution. We've got to focus on the preacher curl. We've got to focus on being aggressive on the concentric portion of the lift and focusing on a two to three second eccentric portion of the lift. Again, four reps, rest 20 to 30 seconds, four reps, rest 20 to 30 seconds, execute that five times. Then we're going to rest three minutes. So we've got to focus on rest. We've got to focus on rep execution. Now the big difference here is that be, after each big set, we get three minutes, okay? But we're gonna do four total big sets. And then again, we're gonna have a three minute rest period. Now, if we remember back to the squat video with cluster sets that saved our sleep deprived training, 
we ramped up and we went up to a, a heavy single at the very end. Okay, we just kept building and building and building. One of the biggest points that we've got to remember is that if we're using preacher curl or if we're using close grip bench, if we're training for the arms, okay, we're trying to get massive, we're trying to get massive arms. We want to stimulate growth. And now we have a ton, or all of our high threshold motor units have been stimulated during this tons and tons and tons of mechanical loading. Now we want to bring in a whole bunch of metabolic stress at the end of this cluster set. We're going to rest three minutes. We're going to go to 50% of 200 pounds. We're going to go down to 100 pounds and we're going to do 17 to 25 reps. During those 17 to 25 reps, the entire time, you're just moving. You're not as focused on the technique. You are more focused on handling discomfort. And if you can handle discomfort for 17 to 25 reps, you're going to have a huge metabolic response and that's going to lead to massive hypertrophy of your upper arms, specifically your biceps or your triceps, okay? So if you execute 25 reps here, then I highly recommend increasing your weight and you can probably do preacher curls at, a, at more than 200 pounds. And this is going to be the exact same setup if we did close grip bench as well. We would do the exact same setup here. We could do a little bit slower eccentric portion of that close grip bench. One of the other key principles is that when you're doing the slow eccentric portion of the close grip bench or of the preacher curl, that's gonna open up the mTOR pathway, which is going to help with muscle protein synthesis. So again, going back over everything, 70%, for four big sets inside each set, you're gonna do five sets of four, rest 20 to 30 seconds between each set of four. You're gonna rest three minutes between each big set. When you do four big sets, you're gonna rest for three total minutes. Again, you are gonna be 100% focused on the task at hand and 100% focused on recovery. Then we're gonna hit that 50% training set right here for 17 to 25 reps. You're gonna get a massive pump and that is how you are gonna get huge biceps and huge triceps. If you like this information, I recommend picking up Bison Tries 1 or Bison Tries 2 at GarageStrike.com. Please like, subscribe, share this video all over the internet. Peace.